Good morning, everybody. It's great to see you all here today. If you were here last week, you would have heard Jess talking about a great big wedding feast. And a great big wedding feast is a great big party that's got lots of food, family and friends, decorations, fancy clothes, all to celebrate this, a marriage, which is two separate people coming together as one so they can love each other forever. So what I want you guys to do is to imagine that you're the groom on your wedding day and you haven't seen your bride yet and you're wearing a fancy suit and tie and you've got a brand new haircut and you smell great and you haven't seen your bride yet and your bride will be wearing an old sack and some muddy gum boots that she's just used to clean the chicken coop out. No, 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 no. Your bride will be wearing the most special dress that's got bits of lace and pearls and jewels all over it and she will look like the most beautiful woman in the whole entire world. And when you see her, you will think, I get to be with her forever and I've waited my whole life for this. Put up your hand if you can use some words to describe how you would feel in that moment. Sage? Excited, great word. Yes, Etty? Happy, yes, so happy. Danny? That's what my big kids said. Let's not worry about the anxious because it's all sorted out. You know this is the chick for you. We're not anxious. We're excited. We're happy. Have you got one, friend? Grateful, beautiful. I love that word. So, guess what? The part of the Bible that we're looking at today God is so great that he uses this beautiful picture of marriage to help John and us begin to understand what we have to look forward to. You heard before in John's vision, he sees a holy city that looks like a bride all dressed up for her husband. So what are we supposed to feel about this place? Those things we just said. We're supposed to feel that excitement, thrilled, happy. And later in that part of the Bible, the church is described as Jesus' bride, which means we get to dwell with God and love each other forever. I think that is something totally amazing to look forward to. What do you guys think? Yeah, I think so too. So normally we would pray and go get our kids' sheets, which are over there. Sorry, I haven't got them out yet. But today we're going to do something different because it's the memory verse challenge. So today we're going to stay We're going to pray and stay. What are we going to do? Stay. Pray and stay. All right, great. Bow your heads. Dear God, thank you for using pictures we see in our everyday lives to help us understand what we have to look forward to when we trust in you. Please help us to keep focused on our future with you. We pray all these things in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. 